Please get stable. Oof. Oh God. Envy was probably the wrong choice. So let's talk about disc golf bags. As you know, I play with the Squatch Lore bag. Um, it's the smaller of the Squatch bags. Super compact, it's nice. There's some things I like and some things I don't like about it. I've been playing for two and a half, two years, two and a half years, something like that. And I've had a lot of bags. I haven't gone the Heiser in a while. Thought it'd be fun. I think the Lore bag has been my favorite bag I've ever had. I know there's some, there's a lot of good bags out there, but I think the Lore may be the best. I kind of dove like all in. I was like, I gotta buy all these discs. So I had to buy a bag that worked. So me being cheap, I bought this bag. Now, if you're balling on a budget, it's a good option. But we all know that thing is not sourced properly. Uh, it's probably made in a factory somewhere overseas in horrible conditions. So not a huge fan of buying that kind of thing. But, you know, for $20, $30, if you're just getting started, I feel like it's a pretty good bag. So after the end of a knockoff bag, I went with this bag here. The Mako 3 is good. Now for a budget friendly, professional looking bag, I think there's no better company than Atlas. The bags look great. The company's nice. It's owned by uh, Hunter and Brody Smith, I'm pretty sure. Don't quote me on that. That did not go very far. Don't you love leaving yourself short on a pretty short up and down? I don't remember how many discs the Atlas held, probably 24, 25, something like that. Uh, the putter pocket was really good, kind of just set behind everything. Uh, it was a huge upgrade from the end of a bag because it actually fit a full Hydro Flask or Nalgene. I carry a Nalgene with me. It was a very lightweight, good looking bag. Uh, I think they're like $90, which is not much at all. Ah, too much hyzer. That'll be fine. It's a putt. It was a light, it's a lightweight bag. It has plenty of space in it. It has little tassels kind of like this on the side for you to hang a towel on. Oh, get it up. For that price point, I don't think there's a better, like, new player, professional looking bag. You can go play tournaments with it and no one would bat an eye at it. Now there are two things I really didn't like about that bag. Uh, the first, so your little front pocket's here. This one is just to hold minis, uh, but usually it's the size of like a disc. So like you can throw, people will throw like their kind of cap wrap or firebird slot like right there in the front. So it's kind of out of the way. You can just grab it really quick. So for some reason in my Atlas bag, a disc didn't fit in there. You could get it in there, but it was really tough to get it in and out. Not sure why that's the case. Could have just been my bag. Issue number two, it wasn't very stable. You had to find flat ground to put it on or like lean it in a certain way that it didn't fall over because it fell over almost every time you put it down and all the discs fall out every time you put it, up, put it on the ground. It's a really good shot. 
I like putts like this. <laughs> Yeah, I don't either. Ah, oh, you're too stable. Gross. I think if you can deal with the uh, the bag falling over a ton, and you just want like a nice looking professional bag, I think that's I think that's the one you want to buy. So from the Atlas bag, I moved to this bag. Get stable, please. Yeah. Now I think for full bag layout, that DD bag, maybe my favorite bag for the layout of it. Oh, I never to this one. That thing was extremely sturdy. I mean, you could just kind of drop it and it's gonna stand upright, which was, I think the main reason I bought that, coming from the Atlas, it fell over every three seconds. It fits a really good amount of discs in it as well. But my favorite thing about it was the side putter pockets. Uh, my friend Zeke plays with the same bag and he puts his putting putters there. Uh, but I liked having like my zone, my forehand discs right there. So they're kind of out of the way, easy to grab. That one went way too far. <laughs> Another thing I really liked about it, there's storage on top for your phone, keys, and like a little zip, like a zip up, uh, little zip up like mesh pocket inside the top pouch, which is so nice. That looks good. Dang, my watt's right there, that's nice. Glitch is way back here. Now these bags are a little bit more expensive than like the Atlas but I was really ready for an upgrade. That was a hard putt. I think I got mine for like 180, something like that. I can't really remember. It was like two years ago. You can also find them on like Facebook kind of all the time. I feel like everyone's selling theirs. I don't know why, but people seem to be selling them all the time on like Facebook Marketplace or whatever. There's only like one con I had about it, and if it didn't happen, I'd probably still use it today. So it has two different water bottle holders. Um, one of them I just use for like an umbrella. The other one's like the size of an Nalgene for like bigger bottles. So when you set it on the ground, that's on the ground, and mine just like ripped through where it holds the water bottle. So after a year of playing with it, I couldn't put water bottles in it anymore. That's a shit shot. If that little water bottle thing hadn't happened, like I said, I'd probably still be using that bag today. It's a great, great bag and probably one of the top five bags in my opinion. The next bag I'm gonna talk about, I wanted to like it so, so, so much, but there's a few things about it that absolutely ruin this bag for me. So the next bag, and I love Squatch bags. I'm literally still playing with them right now and I'm gonna be possibly, we don't know, giving one away. Make sure you subscribe to find out. But it's the Ezra bag, this bag. Go in. Nope. Now don't get me wrong, the bag's fine. If you have it, that's great. It doesn't matter. It holds a lot of discs and it holds a lot, there's a lot of space in it too. 
like both side pockets you can cram jackets in more discs kind of you know the whole squatch thing just and like pound they hold so much stuff i like the layout of that open bag where it's like mid drivers down here putters up the inside i liked that there was one really big thing i really hated about the bag and it made me almost send it back the moment i got it so most bags have this flap right here that you just zip up if it's raining you can just have this kind of closed you get to your car you just zip it up throw it in there right so that link i think it's the link that link bag it has a cover that starts from the bottom and rolls and goes all the way up to cover everything which doesn't sound bad but the only way to store it is to roll it up as tight as physically possible and then cram it into this little spot right here in front of your discs so you're not going to do that every single time you play. It also makes the discs harder to get in and out. And then you throw it in your car after you play because you're too lazy to roll that up. And now all your discs fall out every single time. I don't know what Squatch thought of doing that whole thing, but it was a horrible decision. And that's a very like hot take by me. I enjoy Squatch bags. I like their logo. I like their bags. I hate that bag. Next up, we got the lore bag. So my favorite thing about the lore bag is how small it is. It doesn't hold near as many as basically the other bags I've had. All right, headwind, light lift. Now it's not the smallest of like the small compact bags you can buy. I'm checking to see if there's still people up here. But I was kind of tired of carrying a big bag. I was kind of tired of carrying like a bag that had too many discs in it. I really wanted to like go back and carry less. That way decision making was easier and you know, wasn't as bad on your back. So I like, you know, I don't even know how many this fits, but it's plenty. I mean, I can have, I have six putters in my top pouch and I can put two or three more. I have three on one of the sides. I have a whole nother side. Uh, you can fit a full Nalgene. Reminds me, stay hydrated. Also this Drew Gibson colorway, pretty fuego if you ask me. Don't mind me, just parking holes. I'm either having like a 40 foot putt or I'm parking it. Hang on the shade while some people play through. Um, so yeah, I really like it. I mean, there's big pockets on either side. I have my like range finder over here. Everything's kind of Velcroed, big zippers, big pockets. I have my phone chilling over here. Three discs in the side pocket. I can put, put more in there. It's nice my towel will like kind of cram down on there too. I like this bag a lot. There are, and also it's pretty stable. I mean, it just sits there. You can kick it, it won't really fall over. It will if you try. Something I really don't like about it though, the straps. There's no real good way to lock them. I just kind of rolled them up and they keep, they just slide around, but other than that, it's like a very, very comfortable bag. You're a giant bee, oh my gosh. Unfortunately, it's like an expensive bag and all Squatch bags, all real like professional disc golf bags are pretty expensive, unfortunately. I wish they weren't that way, but you know, you're paying for really good quality stuff and you're paying, you know, the people that make it because a lot of them are just made by small mom and pop companies. Great shot. If you're looking for like a small, you know, nice quality bag that you can wear all day long, I think this is it. This is the one I would buy over and over again. It may not be the bag for everyone. Like I was saying, if you are trying to cut down 
on the amount of discs you carry. So you just think, you know, you have so much overlap in your bag that you could just kind of dwindle it down. This bag is wonderful. Also, I'm giving one of these away. So we're gonna ace run this full 15 a couple times. Um, so be sure to subscribe, like it, comment, do all that stuff. Tell me I'm bad. It doesn't matter. It all helps. So could we be winning this bag right here? Till next time, we'll catch you later. Too much hyzer. So close. All I know is I came in from the door.